संडे हो या मंडे रोज खाओ अंडे आई एम नॉट एडवर्टाइजिंग आई एम जस्ट सेंग वन वेरी रिच सोर्स ऑफ फूड इज पोल्ट्री एंड द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ दीज बर्ड्स इज कॉल्ड पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग द हैन द फाउल एंड द टर्की कम अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ पोल्ट्री बर्ड्स दे गिव अस एग एंड मीट यू नो इंडिया इज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ चिकन सो वी नीड बोथ वी ऑल्सो नीड इट फॉर मीट एंड द बर्ड्स दैट गिव मीट आर कॉल्ड ब्रॉयलर्स एंड द ब्रूडिंग हैन इज द वन विच लेज एग्स ना द कॉमन वराइटीज आर लाइक अ सील विच इज एन इंडिजिनस वराइटी दैट इज द लोकल वराइटी एंड देन दे इज लेग हॉर्न विच इज द एग्जॉटिक वराइटी द इंडिजिनस वराइटीज आर डिजीज रेजिस्टेंट बट द एग्जॉटिक वराइटीज गिव अस गुड जील्ड ऑफ एग्स एज वेल एज मीट सो वंस अगेन वी कैन डू हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑल्सो एंड इवॉल्व न्यू वराइटीज विच हैव डिजायरेबल ट्रेड्स फॉर बोथ now what are the desirable traits one is the dwarf variety dwarf means small so in the case of a broiler what we want is we don't want the reproductive system because we are not interested in eggs we want that bird must grow fast in a very short period and so for this purpose we use dwarf variety for the broilers then the summer adaptability the tolerance to high temperature because in summer the birds are very uncomfortable so we want a variety which is ad adaptable to the summer then third is the number and the quality of chicks how many chicks are able to come out of eggs sometimes they don't so then the yield goes down so we also want a variety in which the number of chicks that come out of the eggs is large and the quality is also good then only we will get broilers and the next generation for eggs then reduction in the size of egg laying birds there also we are not interested in increasing their size but what we are interested is in the number of eggs and finally the low maintenance requirement we want those varieties which should eat less but are able to give more so they are able to eat fibrous food and they are able to yield more eggs the chicken feed consists largely of grains and also the marble chips now why marble chips because they help in grinding the food and they also help in the shell formation see the shell of the egg is made up of calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate is needed which is provided by the marble chips if the shells are not strong eggs will break they will break even before the chicks can come out so these traits are very important in getting the desirable variety of the birds health is wealth not only for us or cattle but even for the poultry birds usually what happens if their diet is deficient they will develop certain diseases so they also need a balanced diet then infection they can also have bacterial or viral or other diseases thirdly if the conditions are unhygienic that is also a source of disease and they also have to be well protected with mesh because they are small birds the other animals the, pre the predators they like to flick away the birds like the cat and these carnivores they eat away the birds so the shelter has to be well protected and it has to be hygienic and we can spray disinfectants to prevent infection and we should give good diet not only this vaccination should be given so that diseases can be prevented just like we have vaccination they also have vaccination and later antibiotics or other medicines can also be given so the moment we identify a bird to be lazy not eating its food sitting in a corner that's a sure sign that the bird is unwell and so the required step has to be taken pisciculture the cultivation of fish that is what is pisciculture fishes are a good source of proteins and minerals and they are also very light for digestion so fishes are to be eaten 
and especially we have a huge sea coast where we can get lot of fish and this marine fish they are also a good source of iodine. People who live around the sea coast they really depend upon fish for their food and they, that is the delicacy also whether it is south or it is Bombay or it is Calcutta, the Bengal everywhere wherever water sources are there, water bodies are there, fish is there. The food habits depend upon what is available. So, because the seafood is available along the sea coast, people living there like the seafood. Now, you see there are two types of fisheries, capture fishery and the culture fishery. What does that mean? Capture means when from natural source of water like sea, fishermen go and capture the fish. So, they do not really do anything about growing of the fish or the reproduction of the fish. They only collect fish. It can be sea, it can be a fresh water like river. But these days we also cultivate fish. In the village pond, even in some areas of sea, where sea water and fresh water meet like brackish water or estuaries. So, that is called culture fishery. If we take the case of marine fish, the popular fish are pomfret, Bombay duck, sardines, tuna and mackerel. These are some of the fishes which are used as delicacies. Now, in the case of marine culture, the fishes that are cultivated are bhetki, pearl spots, mullets and prawns. Prawns are not real fishes, they are also called shellfish, but they are used as source of food and they are very expensive. They are considered once again a delicacy. You ask a chef and he will tell you what an important source of best recipes of cooking are around the prawns. So, you see these are cultivated.